We are here today to talk about bandpass filters with my buddy Ryan KF8I. B. Hey, look at that. Hey! So we've been using these bandpass filters for a while now, for probably like all this year pretty much, yeah, right? Yeah. He got where you got these off where? AliExpress. AliExpress. And how much were they? Like 40 or 50 bucks a piece. So stupid cheap. I'll try and I'll try and leave a link, but we had some issues with these initially, and it turned out it was just user error because we were using one mast and we were using N-Feds, uh, both sloped up to the top of the mast. So picture like two N-Feds in an inverted V and <clears throat> they were kind of interacting with, with one another and not doing so well. So I wanted to come out here and um, show these bandpass filters because just on Mailbag Monday this week, we looked at the Peneplexer and talked about bandpass filters and they're kind of hard to get and they're either stupid expensive or just Chineseium, but We've used these, we know they work. So I wanted to show them to you guys and they're cheap. So like right up a ham's alley, right? So these are the filters here and they're, I mean, unapologetically Chinese. There's no, uh, no name or anything on them at all, but I wanted to show them to you. So we've got seven, 14, 21, 28 and 18 megahertz. So 40 through 10 meters. So there's really only like a couple few hundred dollars worth of bandpass filters here, right? They're all metal chassis, very nicely built, nice SO239s on them. And I like that they transmitter and antenna, some will just like in and out. And it's like, well, is that in from the antenna or in from the transmitter? So they don't, they don't really tell you. So I took the screws out of this one already and we'll take a look at the, at the guts as it were. Sorry about the lighting here. We're, we're, not, we're not at my studio. But you can see, like, they're actually pretty, pretty well built here. Try and get this focused a little better. I mean, like, nice, shiny solder. They appear to be, I mean, they, they appear to be pretty darn well made. And, and for, you know, 50 bucks or so, kind of hard to go wrong with these. So this is cheaper than, than one uh on dx engineering that we showed there was like 350 bucks so you know it's always good to have bandpass filters especially when you're doing like it's it's really fun to take two poda operators out or three poda operators whatever maybe you're with your club well if you don't have filters your life's gonna kind of suck because everybody's gonna be bleeding through so i uh, wanted to show you these we're gonna go ahead and put them on the nano vna and i'll show you the swr curve and and the the cutoff of frequency these are rated for uh i think 100 200 watts, watts they say yeah, 200 it's watts so you know unless you're running an amplifier like we did uh, last weekend these should be good so let's throw these on the nano v and i'll have ryan use his uh handiwork there because i don't know what the heck i'm doing i'm still new to nano v and a so let's take a look and we'll start at seven megahertz and go all the way up to 28 megahertz and see what these things do all right <clears throat> So here we're looking at the seven megahertz filter and here we can see the curves here. So what are we looking at? The yellow here is the SWR and then this is the rejection. Okay. So it looks like right in the center, we're at 7.150 megahertz and we're basically at an SWR 1.03. So per the instructions, it says it covers 1.2 megahertz. So that pretty much puts us right smack dab where we need yep. to be. So that looks good. So let's take a look at, uh, what's the next one, 20 meters? 20 meters. All right, here's the 14 megahertz bandpass filter. It's got a it's got a bandwidth of 2.4 megahertz here. And here it is on the so scope here. We're at 13.175 is where we start to creep up on the SWR. And then it goes all the way to about 14, 15, well, 15.6 is when we start to do it. So that's right kind of in the middle too, about 2.4 megahertz. So that looks pretty good. That you're getting. Yep. Noise. All right, next. Here's 18 megahertz. And it's a three megahertz. A three megahertz bandwidth and there. It shows it here as we start to get up into, Whoops. let's see. Sorry, shaky cam. Looks like 18.015 to go across the band. I'd say we probably lose it about, well, you probably lose it here, 20.109. Oh yeah. So that's a great, the that's center, great. center of the band is 18.007. And that SWR blue, is that one blue point, line is the rejection two, though, right? Yeah, that's... So that's yeah, the SWR that's and that's, that's the rejection. So that the roll off isn't quite as sharp Since it's a wider as we're getting band. in higher frequencies because it's wider, but you're not going to be uh, 
you're not going to be interfering with 20 meters or 20 meters isn't going to be inter interfering with you so that's good next is what uh 15 meters all right so 21 megahertz filter we got a 3.6 megahertz bandwidth we zoomed out a little bit but uh here you can see the swr and the the curve a little bit better so so we start about 19.124 and crap out at about 22.74 Okay, but go down to like in the 21s. 21s? Lower, yeah. So the center is about 21.224. Yeah, so SWR right is 1.17. Okay, cool. So that's doing, its, that's doing its job. And then last is 10 meters. And here's 10 meters. We got a 4.8 megahertz bandwidth. We're below 2 to 1 on the SWR at 28 point, I'm sorry, 25.6. Middle of the band is uh, 1.2 SWR. What frequency are you at? 28.3. So go up. 28.3, going on up to. Go down to like 29 ish. Yeah, we lose it here. 29,800. Okay, still 1.19. Jeez. So look at all the the entire. But once you get out of there, it starts, see it goes up to 2.16, yeah, then you're three, way out then band four. Now. Yeah. So you're, you're, you're way out of band. But the but whole 10-meter band. And it's a whole 10-meter band here is. Uh, looking good there so there you go so there we are some cheap bandpass filters that are actually effective just wanted to share these with you guys again i'll try and put links to these in the bottom they are from aliexpress how long did these take to ship once you ordered them a couple weeks a couple weeks that's it yeah okay remember so. we had the problems when the, the antennas were touching at the same mass but when we use separate mass it was fine yes so don't the put greatest. the ends of your end feds together and use these but so 50 or so bucks each two weeks from aliexpress there you go you're watching Ham Radio Tube. We'll see you next time.